So this is Edge of Chaos, 16,813 streams. Wolfpack. Assemble! What's going on? It's TC, and this is why my latest single tanked. It tanked. Doo. Firstly, if you're new to the Wolf Pack, a very warm welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. And if you find any of this information useful, please smash the like button. And if you're not already part of the community, part of the Wolf Pack, hit the subscribe button to receive notifications every time I upload some fresh new information. Also, don't forget to check out my samples and presets for Serum, Massive and FM8. Check out my t-shirts and hats, follow my Anthems playlist on Spotify and follow my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook links in the description so this is why my latest single tanked and i mean really tanked it did much less views than i thought it was going to had a lot less impact to my fans that i thought it would there's so many things going around in my head about what it could be that i did wrong on this single in comparison to the single previously which did really really well now the single before this one was called Sounds Like TC and it really sounded like me. I made a full music video for it, but it wasn't like my best music video that I've made. But on this single that I just released last last month, I think, I did like a full CGI music video and the whole nine yards took me 10 days to put together that video. Smashed out on all the socials, did everything that I could to promote the single on my stuff but it just didn't land with my fans like the previous single and I, there are definitely lessons that I need to learn from this experience and I, you'd think I'd know this stuff by now right I'm still learning all the time and hopefully showing you guys this stuff might help you to focus down on what it is that makes your music connect with the people that love it and I guess at the end of the day, like if I bought a ticket to go and see a band and they didn't play music that I knew them for, then I'd be really disappointed. And I think I fell into the trap of thinking, oh, I'm going to try something different, try something new. And it didn't necessarily land with my fans how it should have done. Now, I have worries in my head that people were going to be like, oh, you know what, FTC, I'm not going to listen to his music anymore. And you, we've all got these like things in our minds, these barriers to doing stuff and continuing continuing forward and I just you know you just have to allow all that stuff and keep moving forward I've got my next single lined up as well that one doesn't sound like me either so I'm thinking okay for next year I'm gonna have to do some music that really really sounds like me sounds like TC my social network is full like when I go through my Instagram I just follow producers and it's full of other producers showing me their incredible success and I'm not gonna do that with this I'm gonna show you what it's really like behind the scenes when you're a producer and you, you know you're trying your hardest to survive out here in the current situation and also to bring stuff to people that they want to listen to it can be very disheartening if i cared about numbers but really all i care about is the music that i'm making more and more nowadays it seems like as artists we're all being compared especially in drum and bass which is not pop music this isn't the charts this is about a music that we love and we're all comparing each other with numbers like so many times i'll hear things music that i love that doesn't have sort of massive numbers connected to it and i feel like it's sad to a certain extent but i guess it's just the nature of the game that we're playing so there's a few worries that i have with having a single that didn't necessarily do as well as it could have done and that is are the spotify algorithms gonna be like tc you're terrible now we're gonna mark down and not show you to all your fans and they're not gonna get to see it or you know is that a thing and that's what worries in my mind let's have a look at the graphs and i want to show you this because it's it's embarrassing you know like but it is what it is and i'm going to show you two different graphs i'm going to show you the latest single which is called edge of chaos which tanked and i'm going to show you the single before which i think is doing really really well you can see a comparison in the numbers so let's uh, let's jump in here so this is edge of chaos 16,813 streams to put it into context though if that was soundcloud i'd be really happy so i guess it's just a balance of things and if i was just starting out i'd be really happy so i got to try and keep that kind of stuff in my mind as well it had a big peak here 3.2k on day one i'm guessing all my fan base got to hear it and were like nah i'm not feeling it and then it, it dropped down had a little boost another little friday boost it's always on fridays usually 
So Fridays or peaks, 1.2K on the following Friday. And now it's tailing off to like 300. You know what? It might be that this totally turns around, becomes a big tune and ends up being a big thing. I keep that in my mind as well. I'm just trying to stay positive. If I show you the previous single, 83,873 plays, this one got on quite a few playlists. I think that really helped, helped it to push forward. But what happens is, sometimes like a single will drop and then it kind of just gets into people's rotation so this one's on average getting you know 1.5 1.3 1.3 thousand people every friday going to be listening to this tune sundays are always dead out for my music because it's not chill music i'd love to see what it was like on other people's musics so if the, if you made like chilled music is there a peak on a sunday for a chilled out guy i think that would be super interesting to know i'm the guy who makes the music for the friday night so like tup. Turp, turp. I can look at the 12 months on this and this one had a big peak so 5.7k on the initial drop the week after was a little 3.8k very nice sort of rolling along and now you can see it's sort of steady there's definitely a slight decline in the numbers but we shall see what happens with this and I'll come back with some updates and show you some different stuff so that was the graphs I obviously made a mistake somewhere or it might be that it's just because I released it in November and there's nothing going on in November I guess there's all these sort of like different things to consider when you're releasing music maybe i didn't do it in the right manner maybe i should have given it to a label to release instead of me that was more known for that sort of style of music so uh that is why i believe it tanked because i didn't make the maybe the right tune and i should have just carried on on the really tc sounding tunes that's where i'm gonna be at next year because <laughs> it obviously worked and i'm not playing this game just for numbers but obviously i want to be as successful as i can be and really I should be sticking to that TC sound. So I'm going to be hitting that TC sound hard next year. Going to get the drum kit out. Going to start making like just really hard bangers. And we'll just see what happens. I feel like I need to get the, that TC drum sound back into the music. I need to get that sort of like the more song stuff, but with the harder edge. I think that's going to work. You can come with me on this beautiful journey that is making music. So that is why my latest single tanked. If you found anything in this video interesting, please don't forget to hit the like button and really smash the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you can keep up to date with all this new from me thanks so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you have any ideas for future videos please let me know a massive big up to all the wolf pack and i will see you in the next video peace